this is Justin from AC Hamilton here in Preston. Just want to talk about these two wonderful products, the Korg SV2 and the Yamaha CP73. There's lots of great videos out there showing each one individually in, in, in an in-depth way, all the features and functions. But I don't think there's really any out there that compares the two side by side. So what I want to do is just give you the fundamental differences between these two products so hopefully we're going to do that so let's talk about the basics so the Korg's heavier so that's about 18 kilograms the Yamaha is lighter about 13 kilograms the Korg has the option of speakers built in or no speakers so that's not an option on the CP73 so that puts the Korg into a unique if you, uh, category really because if you want speakers built into the product you've got to buy the Korg On the appearance you've got this raised panel uh, where the controls are which I find quite nice it's easier to get at uh, on the Yamaha it's on a flat panel obviously here you're seeing it on a tilt but it would normally be flat so I think that's an advantage of the Korg uh, but then again that does have a disadvantage if you're trying to put it into a bag so that will go into any pretty much any bag whereas this has got to be a uniquely designed uh, carry bag So then we come on to the key action. Uh, the Yamaha has a balanced hammer action. Uh, the Korg has uh, a Japanese RH3 key action using a lot of products. Um, they are quite different. I mean, they're both good. It, what you prefer is going to be an individual choice. Uh, but definitely, there is more weight in the RH3 action. So whether you prefer that or not, I don't know. Thank you. So then we get on to the functionality. So the Korg it is very, very easy to use with these nice uh, knobs and controls. Um, the Yamaha also, but the Yamaha definitely has more control on the actual product. The real big difference between these two is that if you want to go in depth into the Korg, you do have to use the SV2 editor and download that. Uh, and then you can have in-depth control on the SV2 editor. So when it comes to things like splits and uh, layers, you can do all of that on the Yamaha. You can 
turn each part off individually, control the volume of each part individually, the octave of each part individually. You cannot do that on the fly on the Korg, so that's definitely a weak point on the Korg. Having said that, you know, it is possible to, if you all you want is a nice piano and pad or piano and strings, you can do that on the editor and store it into these favourites. Um, and then when you're playing the Korg, you can adjust the volume of the splits and layers uh, using these knobs here. So I just wanted to talk about one last thing, uh, which is when you mix sounds together. We've talked about the weakness of the Korg, the fact that you can't do it, you can't uh, choose your own layers and splits and volumes, whereas on the Yamaha you can just simply turn on or off the section here and control the volume of each section independently. a weakness on the Korg. However, there is one way around it, which is if we hold the function button down, these three equalizing knobs then become like a dual function where, take the piano there, if I hold this down, it's bringing in the strings. If I hold this one down, it's also bringing in a pad. also have the volumes on each one and all these are incrementally between these notches here so go right up Piano pad. Bring the strings right up as well Pad off, hold it down. Just piano on strings. Knock the strings off, hold it down. Knock the pad off, hold it down. Just piano on pad. And it controls the volume. So that's quite good. So that's it's not as good as having the complete control as you've got on the Yamaha, but it's one way around it that works. So to su summarise, although the Korg is great to use on the fly, it does have a fundamental weakness that the MR doesn't have uh, in that you need to use that SV2 editor. But I think at the end of the day, 
the one you're going to buy if you've got a strong preference in the sound and hopefully you may have noticed a preference yourself just listening to the comparison you're still going to buy that one if you strongly prefer the Korg sound you're going to buy the Korg if you strongly prefer the Yamaha sound you're definitely going to prefer the Yamaha maybe if you're not too sure maybe that would swing it towards the Yamaha because that's clearly not got that weakness that the Korg has got uh, with the editing so I hope that helps Thank you.